Hey everyone, I've got a uh, Digimon video today. This is on the new uh, starter decks for uh, Jessmon and Ragnalordmon. Uh, hmm. Let's start with Jessmon first. Here's the uh, special stuff these ones come with. Both Jessmon and Ragnalordmon do. These are some uh, special Tamer cards. Uh, we got the uh, tie from starter deck one. I really think it should have been the uh, tie that gives your red Digimon with, with uh, four more cards under it a security attack plus one. It really should have been that one. Davis, that's a very good one. That's used in almost every blue deck, oh, and especially in Imperial Jamon. That's very nice. This also really should have been the TK from set one. Uh, the Ken's all right, but again, it should have been the Mimi from set one. The Izzy's actually all right. That's a good one, too. And the mat, that really should have been the purple mat from... Two, I believe, or yeah, it really should have been that one. Not really the best selection of tamers, really, the only two good ones, in my opinion, are the Izzy and the Davis. And even then, the Izzy's aren't that expensive. The only really expensive one is Davis. All right, um, the actual cards, uh, the how to play stuff. Oh, these are the uh, uh, memory gauges for this one. It has Jessmon and a Huckmon. That's pretty nice. Um, let's see. Uh, for the eggs in here, we've got Gurimon. Uh, this Gurimon has the ability, while you have two or more Digimon in play, this Digimon gets 1,000 DP. That's all right. I like the Gurimon that lets you draw better. Uh, we got a Candlemon, that's a pretty nice one. Vanilla, Solarmon, all turns, players can't reduce play costs. That's pretty cool. Um, Huckmon, your turn once per turn when you play a Digimon with Sistermon in its name, gain one memory. And then its inheritable ability is all turns. While this Digimon has Huckmon in its name or Royal Knight in its traits, it gets a thousand DP. That's pretty cool, although there's some uh, better Huckmons that we've got. Uh, Miramon, another vanilla. Well, Digimon's kind of at the point where you don't really need the vanillas anymore, actually. Bow Huckmon, well, this Digimon has Huckmon or Royal Knights in its traits. It gets 1,000 DP, kind of the same as the uh, other the Huckmon here. Skull Miramon. Uh, save your Huckmon. When digivolving, this Digimon may also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon for the turn. That's pretty cool. When attacking, once per turn, if this Digimon has Royal Knight in its traits, you may play one Sistermon in its name from your hand or trash without paying its memory cost. Pretty cool. Oh, you get four of this guy. Thought you only got two. All right. A uh, Volcanomon, it's a blocker, and for its inheritable, it gives security attack plus one. That's pretty cool. Ooh, the Jessmon. This looks good. Uh, when Digivolving, it gets Blitz. When attacking, you may play one Digimon card with Sistermon in its name from your hand without paying its memory cost. Pretty cool. Your turn once per turn when another Digimon enters play... 
by an effect this Digimon gets 3000 DP and security attack plus one. Very nice. You only get two of this Jessmon, and the other you get is his uh, father, sort of, Gankumon. He's also a royal knight. Uh, when digivolving, you may play one Huckmon or one Digimon with Sistermon in its name in, in your trash without paying its memory cost. That's pretty cool. Uh, your turn once per turn. When you play another Digimon by an effect, digivolve one up to two of your opponent's Digimon. Pretty cool. Uh, Sistermon block on play. By trashing one card from your hand, you draw two cards. That's pretty nice. All turns. While well, you have a Digimon in play with Huckmon in its name or Royal Knight in its traits, this Digimon gains decoy red or black. When one of your other red or black Digimon would be deleted by an opponent's effect, you may delete this Digimon instead. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sistermon Seal. Uh, on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Huckmon in its name or Royal Knights in its tra traits to your hand. Trash the rest. All turns, all of your Digimon with Huckmon in their names or Royal Knight in their traits gain reboot. Also treat as if this name is Sistermon Noir that includes the trait or that includes Virus. All right. Austinerix, uh, main one of your Digimon gets 2k DP for the turn. Then, if you have a Digimon with Huckmon or Royal Knight in its traits in play, gain one memory, and one of your Digimon gains piercing for the turn. Then, its security effect, gain one memory, and then add this card to your hand. Pretty cool. Uh, Matt, from Master to Disciple, main reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Huckmon or Systemon. In its name or Royal Knights in its traits to your hand. Trash the rest, then place this card in your battle area. Main delay. Trash this card from your battle area to activate the effect. The next time one of your Digimon would digivolve this turn, reduce the digivolution cost by one. Very cool. And then the final card is Quake Blast Fire Father. While you have a Digimon with Huckmon or Sistermon in its name or Royal Knights in its traits, you may use this card without meeting the color requirements delete one of your opponent's digimon with a play cost of 13 or less pretty cool uh that is it for the jessmon deck very nice uh both of these decks are a combination of red and black which are probably my two favorite colors in digimon let's move on to ragnalord um let's see here All right, uh same teamer cards as Jessmon, so we won't go over them. And the uh, gauges look like this in this one. With Durandamon, Durandamon and Breeway Ludamon, I think. Uh, let's see, the eggs in this one are Sakutomon. Your turn once per turn. When you play another Digimon with Legend Arms in its traits, by an effect, gain one memory. Pretty cool. Oh, we got four of that. Zubamon. Oh, this got this has lots of effects. On play by placing this Digimon under one of your other Digimon that's black or has legend arms in its traits. As its bottom Digivolution card, you may reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Digimon card with legend arms in its traits. And a play cost of seven or less, you may play it without paying its memory cost. Add the rest to your hand. And then it's inheritable is when attacking, if you have a Digimon that's black or has legend arms in its traits in play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less. That's pretty good. Uh, Zuba Eagermon. On play, by placing this Digimon under one of your other Digimon that's black or has legend arms in its traits, 
at the bottom of its Digivolution cards. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less. Pretty cool. And then this guy is the same inheritable as Zuba. Okay, for that, Duramon. Your turn when this Digimon would Digivolve into a card in your hand that's black or has Legend Arms in its traits. You may reduce the Digivolution cost by one. You only get two of this one. So yeah, get two of the starter decks of both so you can complete your play sets. And at your turn, you may DNA Digivolve this Digimon and one of your other Digimon and play into a card in your hand for its DNA cost. Nice. Durandamon, your turn. Once per turn, when one of your effects places a Digimon Evolution card under this Digimon. This Digimon gets a, a 3,000 DP and security attack plus one. Pretty cool. When attacking, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may play one Digimon card with Legend Arms. It's trace in a play cost of seven or less among them without paying its memory cost. Place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Your turn. Well, this Digimon is Ragnalordmon. It does not activate security effects on option cards it checks. So it gives uh, Ragnalordmon essentially a delicate plan. Pretty cool. Ragnalordmon, DNA Digivolve for, for zero from a red level six and a black level six. When Digivolving, it gets Blitz. Uh, when DNA Digivolving, for every four cards in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of 20 or less and trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. Pretty cool. All turns, once per turn. When a card is removed from a player's security stack, unsuspend this Digimon. Pretty nice. You get two of him. Kotemon. This is vanilla. Chikurimon. This is the same as the Solarmon from the Jessmon deck. Ludomon. Okay, this guy has the same on play effect as Zubamon. It's inheritable is opponent's turn. While well, you have a Digimon that's red or has Legend Arms and its traits in play, this Digimon gains Blocker. Pretty nice. Gladimon. Another vanilla. Tia Ludomon. Uh, this is the same. Or no, it's slightly different. By placing this Digimon under one of your other Digimon that's red or has Legend Arms and its traits as its bottom Digivolution card, one of your Digimon gains Reboot. Okay, opponent's turn, gains blocker. Nightmon for black and red. Pretty cool, you only get two of it. Raiji Ludomon, opponent's turn. This Digimon can't be deleted by your opponent's effects. End of your turn, DNA Digivolve. Four of that one. Reway Ludomon, your turn, once per turn. When your opponent's effect places a Digivolution card under this Digimon, your opponent's effects can't delete this Digimon or return it to your to its owner's hand or deck until the end of their turn. When Digivolving reveal the top three cards of your deck, you may play one Digimon card with Legend Arms and its traits and a play cost of seven or less among them without playing its memory cost. Place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Opponent's turn, while this Digimon is Ragnalordmon, it isn't affected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon. You got four of that. Direct Smasher, while you have a Digimon with Legend Arms traits, you may Use this without meeting the color requirements. Uh, main effect, basically Gaia Force. Legend Arms Alliance. You may play one Digimon card with Legend Arms and its trace in a play cost of seven or less in your hand without paying its memory cost. Then place this card in your battle area. It's delay. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Place those cards on the top or bottom in any order. In security, you, you may play one card with Legend Arms and its trace any play cost of seven or less, then place it in the battle area. What did the Jessmon one say? I do not remember. Uh, okay, it's its main effect. Got it. Anyway, that is uh, Jessmon and Ragnalordmon. I hope you enjoyed this video.